Anyway, we're back on the Mana Symbol channel. We're playing a little bit of the Dice Factory. This is a mono brown deck um, featuring basically nothing but artifacts for a good number of reasons. Um, so one of the biggest ones is Mystic Forge. This is a four mana artifact that says you may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may cast artifact spells and colorless spells from the top of your library. Usually... This is seen as like a one of in Etron sideboards in very grindy meta games, but in this one, uh, we're using this to potentially put this into play as early as turn three with extra mana up and just rip through our deck. Um, besides that, we're playing Karn the Great Creator as one of the best possible colorless um, sort of outputs for mana and win conditions. Um, this version is a little bit all in playing Serum Powder. Serum Powder, of course, interestingly um, allows you to have essentially free mulligans, but in this deck. Um, anything that you exile with the serum powder is then wishable with Karn. So anything that is an artifact, you'll be able to get it back later if you need to. We have one Shadow Spear in the 75, for example, and we have one Pithing Needle in the main deck. Um, there should be a something similar in the sideboard. Doesn't look like there is, but that's okay, because we've got the one Pithing Needle in the main deck, and then we can wish for it if it gets exiled with Serum Powder. Um, we've got four of Ma or three of Maze Mind Tome. I love this card. Um, it's fallen out of favor in a lot of places, but maybe this deck is the one that gets to make it work. Um, you can scry with it, you can draw cards with it, and you gain life with it, which I think is pretty important. Uh, I love Chalice of the Void in general. It's not always great, but it's pretty good in the metagame right now if you can get it on the play especially, and if it works well with your strategy. Mindstone's a bit of ramp. We got Ratchet Bams, uh, particularly good against a lot of the Urza Saga tokens from our opponents. Speaking of which, we're playing four of Urza Sagas ourselves with our 23 lands. Blast Zone, Gemstone Caverns, Inventors is Fair, and four of Expedition Map. The classic Etron Nonbo of Chalice and Expedition Map. Uh, but we're not going to care because our deck is going to be so powerful. We're just going to play through. Um, there's one of main deck Crucible of Worlds. Uh, none in the sideboard. We've got some Spell Skites in the sideboard uh, for overwhelming spot removal. Uh, spell Skite matches up very interestingly against Shattering Spree. Um, you can pay a lot of life to uh, stop the Shattering Spree from ruining your whole board. Um, I don't know how relevant that will be, but Spell Skite in general seems like an okay idea here. Um, most of the sideboard is wish targets, but the spell skites stand out to me as being a four of. Uh, same with the welding jars. There's two of these plus one in the main deck, so it seems like that is also something that we would actually um, board in in specific matchups. So let's rip and riggedy roll. B Temple, thanks for the follow. You've been around before. Uh, I'm not shaming you for not following. I'm just saying Twitch's algorithm is great and will bring people back over and over and over again, even if they don't follow, which is cool. I like that. Interesting discussion in the chat going on about the permutations of Hammer Time with the one and only, the Juan and only, legal master, spider space of taxes fame. Um, giving some good feedback on potentially how to improve Hammer Time, which may or may not already be the best deck in the format. So, <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I've played with it before, Muffins on a Hill. I built a deck that was um, Sonic Pyro Prison, the world's fastest prison deck. Playing 4X um, Mana Monkey, the Simeon Spirit Guide, 4X Simeon Spirit Guide, 4X Chancellor of the Tangle, 4X um, Pyretic Ritual, Desperate Ritual, and then a bunch of payoffs, and you got, like, turn one Karns from time to time. Alright, so we already have the opportunity to use Serum Powder. We're on the play here with two-thirds of Tron and Chalice, so I'm actually just going to keep this hand, um, but we could Serum Powder here if we wanted to. I like this hand, though, a lot. Really want to invest in my own stuff on Moto. I've been renting, and it's adding up. I mean, it just depends on what you want to do with Moto. So, like, if you want to do what I do, uh, renting just makes sense. Because I'm constantly changing decks and losing a percentage of your money every time you do that is a bad idea. All right. Turn one Ragavan. A uh, little tilt, but we'll, we'll just Chalice here. 
Uh, it sucks, but then next turn, pot potentially we have the Maze Mind Tome, which can help us control what the Ragavan's going to be able to grab off of us if we're using the Scry mode. I think most Luris Red Black openers with a monkey. Uh, yeah, I would love to take a peek at your travesty, Spider. If the travesty is a nickname for your junk, you know, live and learn. All right, I could play just the Maze Mind Tome, realistically. Uh, if they have Drown the Lock, they literally can't do anything with it, so that's fine. Uh, for the <sighs> sure, Freaking mana monkey on the play, man. Thanks, Affinity Friendly. Uh, that is all selected by the chat. Oh, um, Spider. Last night we ran into a black or a Mardu deck that was playing four X Dragon Rage Chandler and some number of like Young Pyromancer, Season Pyromancer. Um, lingering souls it was crazy um it was really sweet um with uh the new faithless looting something looting desperate looting religious looting whatever the looting is eat the rich that one um so that was pretty awesome and we we got ground into dirt by that deck it was insane um. Yeah, I mean that looks like one hell of a deck. Faith of salvaging, thank you, Kai. All right. Feel dead, man. Feels dead. All right, we're gonna scry here. Maybe control what the monkey's gonna hit. Oh great! Oh wait, you can have that. It's a power plant. I already have a power plant, so take it. Yes, so, yeah, salvaging is really, really good um, when you're constantly putting yourself on empty. So, that's exciting. Oh, I have two cards in my graveyard, so if they have Drown and Lock, we're going to get beat up again, huh? They have one card? Oh, for the... Yay! We played turn two chalice and it didn't matter. Oh good, another power plant. Excellent. Love it. Okay. Maybe this card will matter. To be fair, I'm playing a deck with basically no interaction. My interaction is Chalice. My opponent resolved a one-mana spell before the Chalice that would be doing good work for them anyway. And since then, they're they're continuing. Yes, we're oppressing them. Why do people keep saying, damn you, Jerry T? I usually have him... Like, I have his podcast... Did he not make a new podcast episode to tell people that this is the best deck in modern after two weeks ago telling them that black green food was the best deck in modern because i remember all the challenge wins that black green uh food took in modern after that article went up that podcast went up yeah people keep saying this jerry t list though and i i have no idea what what where that would have come from it's probably on what scg behind a paywall or whichever one he's on you want to play that? You want to play that in Staring Bridge for me? He wrote an article like last week. Did he call it the best deck in modern? I hope so. Premium. All right. I'm not even going to click on the link. Not worth my time. Uh, Snapchat. You get to see the list? Really? What the hell's the point of the premium, then?
Wait, what? The only thing that's blocked is the matchups? There's so much article before the premium cutoff. Wow. This is this is not my experience with SCG Premium. Yeah, it's it's mostly for Snapcaster and Drown Lock. Oops. Uh so let's try to draw the last Tron land, I guess. Not that it'll do anything for me here, but why not? Uh okay. So I have a single 2-2 two -two to fight their giant army of doom. And they need to have no uh, interaction. Thanks for the resub there, Sir Karsten. Three months, man. That That is uh, that's phenomenal. Thank you so much. Cool Tron deck, yo. Yeah, it is. That's not what you said. I paraphrased. I apologize. They shocked? Can I just concede because they have interaction? Does anyone care? How much am I taking here? Eight? We're not actually dead. If we draw Tron land into... Wait, I have the Tron. Because I have an expedition map coming in here. Okay, so we have the Tron. And then Karn gets... Not bridge. Did I just die? Or are they flashing back Bolt to... No, they're not doing more. They're getting KCOM. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to 1? Is that, is that what's happening? Saga's a messed up card, but DRC might be a more messed up card. Well, just Primeval Titan's a messed up card. What is that metric? Lurus is a messed up card. Ragman's a messed up card. Sorry, I don't mean to be overly critical. I just I like Saga a lot, and I think I'm just not I'm just not over the Saga hate yet. That's that's all it is. They're killing my Maze Mind Tome and my Construct. That is incredibly rude. Okay, we go to one. All right? No. Yeah. Oh, three. Shoot. And then Bolt. Last card in hand. Bolt. Has to be. It could only be. It could only be Volt, your last card in hand. Thoughtseize! Unreal! What can we get with Karn that matters? I guess no, like, it doesn't, it, who cares? Who cares? Last card in hand, Thoughtseize. Like, are you f kidding me? Oh, that was unreal. Why not deal me damage? Because it didn't matter. Wait, no, they, they killed my construct is why. They killed my construct, that's why. Hey, how's it going there, Mr. Lee? Thank you for the raid again. Hope the evening is treating you exceptionally well. So Spyglass is probably no good here. Uh, needle. We don't play... Um, we don't play Bobble, but they do. Uh... I don't think I want Spyglass for it, but Spyglass in the sideboard is probably fine. Can I just board out my Serum Powders in this matchup? Does that make sense? Because I think, like, mulling aggressively is probably insane. And maybe the Crucible? Because I can just wish for it if I get to that point. Does that make any sense? Maybe not. I like all this main deck stuff, though. I, I actually do turtle power. I actually remember when red didn't have card advantage and it was like not long ago. Needle can hit EE. -E. Yeah, I'll keep the main deck needle. We all, but we have Karn though. Like if they don't have perfectly timed um, discard spells again, we might be okay. This isn't Dice Factory? It absolutely is. Well, I guess maybe it's not. I just, I see, I see Tron and Chalice and I think Dice Factory, but you're right. We're not, and like Blast Zones and like, but you're right. We're not actually playing um, uh, Core Tapper or um, Surge Node. You're right. You're right. You're right. This is probably not technically Dice Factory. I looked at it and I said, looks like Dice Factory, plays like Dice Factory, must be Dice Factory. And it's not. That's 100% fair. My bad. I apologize for misleading anyone who was excited about dice. 
Uh, we are putting many dice into play, although a bunch of them are representing the size of our constructs, and that is not an accurate way to do that in Tournament Magic. Especially if you don't like having, uh, or if you want to avoid having... What is the penalty for that? Does anyone remember what the penalty for that is? There's a penalty for, like, having a die as a marker, but not actually updating it on time. I know there is one. Like, it happens to people with Tarmo dies in, in Tournament Magic all the time. It's the communication thing. No, it's not maintained because it's not actually... It's it's the communication policy. It's a CPV. Communication policy violation. That's what it is. You're essentially... tell You're tacitly telling your opponent a piece of information that is false. Yeah. 104.3b. <laughs> is that because the only rule you know is 104.3a? Opponent didn't play the Maze Mind Tome? Come on, what are you doing over there? Opponent's drunk at the wheel. Am I getting upkeep K command? Oh, they're, they're causing me to lose the mana on the... Yeah, I see. I mean, this is fine. Um, except for the part where I have to discard my Karn. I hate everything. God, why, why is there a deck that's playing like 3-4 main deck freaking k commands what a what a tilt all right well we're probably screwed here but maybe not yeah the, the monkey with k command is so obnoxious i mean the monkey's obnoxious anyway but because they're smart that's why yeah i mean i guess if you want to be rational about it i'm just trying to play a really really rippingly fun deck where i'm going to take a million game actions my opponent's not going to take any uh, isn't that the heart and soul of magic? One's in chat if the heart and soul of magic is playing a bunch of cards while your opponent can't interact with you. All right, so eventually Inventors is, is, is Unfair is going to be getting me uh, an expedition map for... No, maybe just Mystic Forge? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> We'll see what they have here. I have a pretty big construct. So, like, I'm not going to worry about getting a welding jar. Can't get map, chalice. Oh, yes, I can. That is not how that works. Wait, what? Yeah, off the saga, sorry. Off the saga, that's what I meant. Yeah, I said fair. I, I said fair. I said fair. I said fair. And that was incorrect of me. No, the fair can get me the Mystic Sanctuary. The Mystic Forge. <laughs> um, and the saga can get me the... Yeah. The map. Wish Moto would let you chalice check? I mean... Yeah, I mean, it's a bad draw, but that happens. I'm just wondering if I should make the construct this turn. Yeah, probably. It's like not gonna cost me much tempo. So let's get the map, I think. We'll see. Did they shock this turn? Oh my god. What is happening? Please, KCOM, to discard the last card of my hand. Please. Please. You bastard coated bastard with bastard filling. Alright, fine. So we get map, activate map, and now you cake on me in response. No. Strange. Okay, whatever. Uh, power plant or mine? Is there a preference? Does anyone, we have any miners in chat? Wait, hold on, that came out wrong. Any people who go underground and dig for minerals for their living? I guess I like power plant. Tilt set. Do we ever get again another saga? I'm sure we do. I just don't think we're gonna do that now. Only salt miners here. Listen, down here everything is salt. Drown a token, sure. 
Terminate a token. Sure. Are they going to have Shatter now? Yeah? Of course. How could they not? Good lord. Please, please just go get Luris or something. Just one, one time don't have the perfection. I would like one. Okay, gets Luris. Okay. So I have enough mana right now to Inventor's Fair, but I think playing the Spell Skite is like just insanely useful right now. So next turn, maybe at the end of their turn, we can Inventor's Fair for something. Probably Mystic Forge and then cast it. And now I have Spell Skite to protect it. Oh no, the Chalice! Ah. Oh, let's equip this. Why not? Make it a little, little mo bigger. Just a little bit mo bigger. They did just blow Drown in the Lock and Terminate on constructs that basically don't didn't matter. Like, I guess they wanted to be mana efficient, assuming that they were going to be able to get through my bridge. Okay, so they, they're just saying, I got nothing, which is fine. I would like a land. One land, please. All right, good enough. Now I need them not to have K Command or any counter magic. Fuck. Yes, I know the Bobble Engine is huge, but I also just realized like that my plan has basically a zero percent chance of succeeding. I literally got to this moment before before going, wait, this is never gonna work. So that's fun. <laughs> the Bobble Engine doesn't bother me so much as the fact that even before the Bobble, I think they had four or five cards. So like, I'm gonna go Inventors Unfair. And then I have to dodge them having KCOM or Drown and Lock or Actual Factual Counterspell or Snapcaster Mage, most of which they've played no copies of so far. So that's fun. Um, I mean, some of those things won't work so well because like, there's a Spell Skite, but this, this pause says KCOM. Yep. Oh. So, Shatter. Both? Now they go KCOM, destroy your Chalice, discard a card? No, destroy your Bridge, discard a card. <laughs> Alright, we found the unbeatable matchup in round one. Super. Oh, good! Oh, I'm so glad. Alright, well, mine... Uh, the Hottest Rip? Sure. I mean, we're not technically dead yet. Okay. That rip is not cold. Oh, right, it is. I forgot that they hadn't destroyed my chalice. It's fine. Yeah. All right. Well, that's fine. That was... That was unwinnable. That deck is not even a little bit not perfectly suited to destroy us. They're, they're, I think they're built to beat Hammer Time, so not shocking that they built they beat a clunkier artifact synergy deck. Oh yeah, when did this when did this Jerry T article go up? People have been talking about it since yesterday. Oh, that's like a week ago. Wild. I like that he's saying Grixis is back in modern when this deck has put up essentially zero results. Right? Am I wrong? Like by his metric by, by the metrics, if Grixis is back, Grixis never left. It has 5-0 leagues. Sure. It, I don't think you could find many 5-0 league dumps that don't have one Grixis deck. Yeah, it's basically Black Red Luris with, um, with Blue. Oh, here's that book that uh, Kaya put on.
I need this now. <laughs> I needed that. I needed that. I needed, I needed the moment of calm. Before Jerry T posted the article, Grixis was Death Shadow. Now it's Black Red Lura's adding blue for control and then it's lol. I mean, there's still probably people running around playing Shadow because they love that deck. Uh, I mean, this hand has turned three Tron, so... I don't think you throw this one out of bed for eating eating a sandwich. No Luris Bloodstained Mire. You don't love to see it. Oh my. Okay. Okay, it's a race. Okay. I, I, can, I can race. This hand... This hand maybe can race. Let's see what you got. How many crabs? How many vines? Are your vines funny? Or are they like good music? Alright, we're ditching Pithing Needle here, I think. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm going to Chalice this turn. To try to slow them down. Playing Mardu Shadow this weekend for a 64 team unified modern event. Sounds like a good choice. So I have bridge for next turn. So chalice this turn, bridge uh, fetch into bridge next turn seems really good. Obviously, they're gonna have some little dorks that are gonna sneak under the bridge for a while, but I think we can clear our hand once we have. Just, oh my! I mean, I have answers. Can't fetch into bridge because you have tower already. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. But we didn't we didn't need it anyway. So this is gonna recur Urza Saga until I'm ready to kill them. So now we just go Spyglass your goblin bombardment and play bridge. And then fetch the saga. Gravecrawler. Liliana untouched by death. Listen, Magic Online. I only went into the O one one bracket. You don't need to softball me like this. <laughs> this is... This is unnecessary. I mean, I honestly just want to concede. They're playing this thing from AFR. It's the new combo deck. I don't believe you. Th this... This is a combination of cards. Do you mean combination of cards? Is this a deck that contains a combination? In that case, I would agree with your your definition of it's a new combo deck. It has a combination of cards in it. Are we dying to budget Lily? I sure hope not. So actually, this expedition map is going to get Inventor's Fair because then Inventor's Fair plus Crucible is just going to rip us through this entire game. We get a free artifact demonic tutor every turn, and if I can't win the game with that, then I... I don't have an end to that sentence. Uh, oh, I should have sacked in response. I'm going to take a damage here. We're going to take a damage every turn when I tutor with the Inventor's Fair. I guess we found our opponent's plan. <laughs> Minus one. <laughs> All right. So just play the fair this turn and just start gaining life. It's not much, but it's honest work. Because I don't need to replay the fair next turn. I can just sack it, get Mystic Forge, put Mystic Forge into play, and then start ripping. Apparently Urza Saga is 70. You mean tickets, right? Wow. Thanks, Hammer Time. Yeah, it's like 27 paper. It's coming way down. Paper usually catches up slower, though. The MTG economy is such a shit show. Well, the, the rental services kind of threw it for a loop. I was reading some exhaustively long Twitter post about it. And, uh...
No. Eventually, though, we're going to get a Witchbane Orb out from a Karn, so... Whoops. It's fine. I wanted to unload that anyway. Mystic Forge. Oh, speak of the devil. Well, you remember how their Mayhem Devil was their plan? Not anymore. All right, opponent, I got no input. Stop. I have input. My inventor's unfair. Go wish for which bane orb. Don't chalice check myself. Just kidding. Of course, that's yeah. Okay, my nice scoop. So, in the previous round, we found the unwinnable matchup, and I believe we found something close to the unlosable matchup. Um, Tormod's crypt in the board seems good for Karn. Good ish. Wonder if they have another sack outlet. I mean, they probably didn't have the ability to get to it at any reasonable speed, Phoenix. Um, but probably, although maybe not. Yeah, I don't think we want to board in spells guide here. Well, it's a pretty good wall, I guess, right? Probably playing carrion feeder. Yeah. Carrion Feeder plus Mayhem Devil could eventually kill us, right? Unless we get the Witch Bane Orb out. I, again, I feel like I'm not in a matchup where I need to go, like, mull all in. And, like... Especially on the draw. Maybe we could bring back the Serum Powders on the play. For the spell skites, but I think on the draw, I want like a, just a tier, tier, turn two wall. Seems okay. I like the ratchet bomb. Ratchet bomb on two cleans up their their stuff. Is this a keep? Yeah, this is a hella keep. There's something really, really ch is our win car instructs. No, we've got a lot of ways to win. Most of them involve ludicrous amounts of mana and, and artifacts. Nonsense. I think our primary path to victory is opponents conceding. Um, but if we have to, there's a bunch of different ways we could actually go about it. Well, that's a card I... We do have an island somewhere. I think I was supposed to play Saga that turn. I was just so tilted by the Void Mirror, I couldn't even think straight. I mean, not tilted, tilted, but just, like, surprised. Just. So we do have an island somewhere in our deck. Um. I mean, I, I, I think I play the Saga this turn, though. Just get it moving. Yeah, I definitely should have played the Saga last turn, Kai. I mentioned it. I just, uh, just punted. That, I mean, that's all there is to it. I, I, I'm not going to... Drew the island. I mean, so Saga could get us the map to get the island, though. So we had a path forward anyway, but drawing the island obviously means I get to move a little quicker, which is nice. Drew the island, never punished. I mean... I'm still punished. Like, I'm still behind, right? I don't know. They literally played nothing on turn three, right? They missed their land drop and played nothing. Okay, so we play Mindstone here. Yeah, I, I, we, 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 still, we could still die. But I put a 2-2 into play. I block Gravecrawler this turn. Next turn I get a map. I can complete my Tron. And then start unloading my hand a little bit. Yeah, they're playing Zombie Bombardment. We can only play one spell per turn. Yeah, that's true. I agree with you, but like... I don't know. I don't feel that out of it. Well, we can play more spells. They'll just get countered. But if I just need to unload my hand for a bridge with uh, Tron Lands in play... 
I'll, I will definitely be doing that, right? So I think I'm just floating the mana. No, do I need the blocker? Kind of need the blocker, right? So one, two, get the map. One, two, get the tower. But then I don't have blue mana to actually play a spell this turn. The construct's probably still worth it. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Three goes into the car, uh, construct. Then I get the map. Then I have two. Get the tower. Play the tower. The tower doesn't play anything this turn. But it also gives me a bigger blocker. I don't know. Let's let's do this right. Tap the mana like correctly, quote unquote. Opponents on Zombardment. Yeah, you could you could play an, a Yavimaya or an Urborg, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the island does a good enough job in theory. Well, no, it doesn't. Yeah, it could be correct to do that. So, if I go fetch the tower now, it doesn't actually let me play a spell. So, what if I just play Saga into Bridge or Maze Mind Tome right now? I mean, we're not playing any dismembers in our 75, but you're right. Saga into bridge. So we can make the construct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to make the construct bigger for sure. Um, sure, let's do that. I just, I don't want to, like, I get the last Tron land this turn and put it into play, but I can't do anything with it. And, like, using the island every turn that I have is probably the, the best way to win this game. I almost think the Maze Mind Tome would have been better this turn, if only because then I start getting it ticking towards the, the four life gain, and the four life gain might matter. Like, because the, the bridge isn't doing anything this turn, and the 4-4 four, four Construct is almost the same amount of deterrent. So, I don't know. All right. Well, they just had that. So, probably dead anyway. Feels dead, man. I mean, we can still top deck. Because there's another bridge in the sideboard. We can still top deck the last Tron land and... Okay, they're letting me trade for their blood ghast. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're we're very much dying, that's for sure. So I should have played the Maze Mind Tome this turn as my instinct went. Although it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Okay, that's not a Tron land. One, two, three, four, five, six next turn. I mean, I have a blocker. I don't I don't need to scoop here. Uh no, we're not playing Bluetron. We're playing Susurus's Dice Factory adjacent Mystic Forge deck. You know the Dice Factory? This one's like next door to the Dice Factory. This building is like it's just like down the road. So here's a crazy question. Do I just take this because I have a Shadow Spear to grab next turn? Like, there's a lot of ways I could die, but there's only a few ways I could win. I think I think we just take this and just take the take the high gamble. If if they had a way to kill my construct, they would have done it before I blocked. Um Croxa. We're not dead to that. We will pitch Spyglass or Mindstone. Probably Spyglass. No, Mindstone, because I might need the actually helps us yeah we instantly lose to bolt i mean we're probably dead to bolt anyway right oh right that sacrifices and now i die with the saga going down okay we're just dead anyway we're already dead now but again we weren't gonna win this like from the okay and they have bone shards for the last sacrifice we weren't ever gonna be able to win that there anyway i don't think and i i think taking the high risk play was better even though we ended up losing i'm fine with it um 
knowing that they now have Shattering Spree, which I wasn't expecting from the red-black deck, which I obviously should have been. We're definitely keeping the Spell Skites. Um, and I think I like Ratchet Bomb fine. Do I? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's go. Let's just let's be on the play and be more lucky. We were, we were fine until we walked into the Shattering Spree. Shattering Spree is so good in the meta at the moment. I mean, it doesn't do enough against Hammer Time as far as I've been informed, so... Is this turn one Pithing Needle, Bloodstained Mire, and just Spray and Pray? And then turn two Mind Stone, and then we can start pumping out Sagas and hope we don't get crushed? We are playing 23 lands, so we're like reasonably likely to draw the third land before turn three. It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing versus Hammer Time if you didn't die already. Yeah. Which, which is, you know, obviously. That's not... That's not really a criticism of it. But, uh... Yeah, I, um... I don't know about this hand. I'm gonna keep it, but if I get punished, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm gonna Pithing Needle their uh, Bloodstained Mire, just to get it out of my hand. I know I should probably save it for Goblin Bombardment, but I have a Karn, so in theory I'll get there when I need to. Could also lead on Saga in this deck. This nice stream has been great. Well, thank you, Mir. It means a lot. It means a lot. We've definitely played a lot of sweet decks um, and done reasonably well with them. Two three twos on some pretty off-meta stuff. Um, seeing that Vogels was reasonable made me happy. Uh, the seeing that the the four one with the um, generals moon base deck uh, felt pretty good. <laughs> Playing the Shambling Gazed. I would love. I I want to play that Karth deck. I really 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 do. I do. I do. I just. I don't have time for it tonight. There's just too many things I want. To... And, like, I also have people after me who are like, hey, you do well in challenges. You should definitely play more, like, competitive decks on your stream. And I'm like, well, there's so much jank to be played, and nobody does that. Oh, is it on now? Shit, sorry. I'm talking girls club. I'm talking girls club. I did not understand that that was a double entendre for like the first eight times I listened to this song. So playing Karn just insulates me from the most stuff, right? Like, by far. Just playing plus Karn here, I think. Oh, I can get a Welding Jar. I don't need to right now, but... They only have one red render right now. Next turn they could have two. I just don't feel like feeding a Mystic Forge into it. Kind of like making a construct. I like Karn because it means next turn I could go uh, Mystic Forge Welding Jar. I'm going to stick with my instinct here, but duly noted. If they have the spree, we're losing the lease by making construct. I feel like I disagree, but maybe. Uh, almost everyone just plays Emrakul Mirror. Um, I play Kozilek in the Velomachus deck because I've had great success actually casting it many times. Like... A very non-zero number of times. So that's why I play Kozlek in that deck. And uh, if there's an Ulamog potential... It's a single Vindicate. It's really bad. Um, so... Um, 
I'm sure there would be a reason to play that. I don't know why everyone plays Emrakul, to be perfectly honest. I really don't. Uh, it makes no sense to me. Enchantress plays Emrakul because they can cast it. I mean, that's if you can cast it, Emrakul is by far the best one. Like, not close. You have success polymorphing it into Emrakul. Sure. And if you want to play it in the sideboard of the Velomachus deck as a polymorph target, that's fine. That's totally fine. Larger CMC for laughter. That is a totally legitimate reason to do that. So that's a good reason to do that. Well, it depends on your deck. Is it, is it castable in your deck? I don't know. But if it if it is, like, run it. It's great. All right. Uh, so I didn't hit a land. I guess I'm supposed to make the token this turn instead of Mystic Forging and then get Expedition Map. Yeah, because I want some blockers. And then I can Karn Wish for Welding Jar. Mana plus Mystic Forge minus Karn for Welding Jar. I could... Um... Yeah, and that's and that's cool, Ting Fang Wan. But when you draw the Emrakul, or like, there's just some situations I've gotten to where it's really clunky. Also, sometimes I board out the Savers, but I keep the Indomitables. But sometimes I want to board out the 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 Savers and the Indomitables, and sometimes even the Um I've been I've had a good amount of success doing that in a couple matchups. Um, so I'm not saying that's right or wrong, but I'm I definitely have been successful doing it. I'm just kind of paralyzed by these freaking shattering sprees. You don't think you've ever boarded up more than one? I didn't. I I was that way for a long time with the deck, but I um. I. Sorry, I'm just having a hard time thinking with that music on um because the forge can't get me any mana this turn that's the thing that's bothering me getting stone rain by the damn saga and without finding a land this turn is just like the worst so i can get the welding jar here if i want to but then i'm just down on mana and the expedition map's getting me to nothing in the next little while Sorry, thoughts on mono white taxes. Uh, I'm sure it's playable. Uh, Spider Space was around, um, and I assume that he thinks it's very playable because he's very, very good at it. Um, uh, my friend Mordekaiser's been playing a lot of uh, Imperial Recruiter decks. He's off of it, sure. Um, I White has a lot of good tools in the metagame. If Spider's off of it, I assume it's bad then. If Spider Space is not playing taxes, it must be bad. That's that's. I don't know enough of the ins and outs of what are making it bad, but I assume it must be very bad. I think he's bored of it. I think if it was playable in the meta, he'd probably not be bored of it, because that deck generates incredible games of Magic. Um, if you want something that's like taxes adjacent, my friend Mordekaiser on the Twitch stream Mord to Light. Um, streams a lot of Imperial Recruiter piles, which I would describe the play patterns of as being very taxes adjacent. So um, that's probably a good place to get your taxes fix if that's something you're interested in. All right, so we map here for uh, Missing Tron piece, I think. That's what makes sense to me with the mine. Play that, play the Chalice, and then we play the Mystic Forge next turn. Wish there were more Death Shadow streamers. Uh, who was the one person? I played them a bunch in challenges. Um, something, I, I it wasn't I play bad decks. It was something MTG. Did he have an MTG in his name? He stopped streaming so much. 
At least I think he did. It was a, he was usually on four color, and then once or twice on Jund. I don't know. But I know I played against him in Mana Traders, and I played against him in a bunch of challenges. Shambling ass. Got him! Don't make me tap the chalice, opponent. Don't make me tap the chalice. Hey, we did the thing. I'm the best eat. Yes, control freak. Thank you. Thank you, control freak. I'm the best Etron player ever. Uh, Doom has not been on Jun Shadow because Jun Shadow is not particularly good. <laughs> Wait, a screen cap of what scene? Is there a particular scene that I that I was supposed to clue in on there? Doom's been on a lot of food and then just like a lot of variety of stuff. Just like whatever I think that he thinks is good. Do I want to grab like Tormod's Crypt here? Yeah, my, my Karn's at three loyalty. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh, that, that, that. Thank you, Kai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a great scene. Do not talk to your driver. Bloodgast? On my stack? Very well. You can't own the stack, man. Quiet, you. I have a chalice in play. I own the stack. I own you. The stack is just a way for, like, for, like, counter spells to control the flow of spell. Get a job, sir. I, I, don't, I don't know why I'm saying the things I'm saying, but I'm having fun saying them, so, you know. Maze Mind Tome. We have not played a land yet this turn, but I don't particularly want to play Blast Zone. Bottom that. Second, Karen. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll take a refresher. I'll take a fresh Karen. Nice, fresh Bob. I went to the hairdresser. I told him to give me a Harvey Feierstein, and he laughed. I don't know why. Um, all right. And then... I guess we just plus and pass here. Pretty good turn. I got Spellskite in play and Welding Jar, so I'm really not sure why they're not scooping. I'm okay with it. I just would like to know what they know that I don't know. Actual factual Shatterstorm? Could be good. Could be good. Don't have enough mana yet. KCOM? Blood Moon? Fair. Fair. I do have a Ratchet Bomb. It'll destroy my bridge, but by the time it does, I'll probably be pretty okay with that. Maybe they need me to tell them that I have a Ratchet Bomb and that I'm aware I have a Ratchet Bomb. So Spellskite draw is fine. Welding jar is great. Gemstone caverns. Let's. Opponent's still drawing a bombardment? I guess they could be. I mean, I don't know how much damage they're going to be able to do if they do find it. Uh, I don't really want this inventor's fair, but like, whatever, I guess. Once I ratchet bomb, I guess it'll be fine to have. 
There's a spyglass. Redrain the bridge when I draw? No, I'm pretty sure I'm going to want to start beating them to death with my 13-13. Their hand is... Oh, they do have a shattering spree. Okay. Still this four drop stuck in their hand. All right. Um, goblin. Bomb. Okay, I'm cool with drawing the mine next turn. Play... I already have a spell skite in play to redirect all the shattering spree, so think I have everything together to play a similar build of dice factor that can cobble kill with eight hundred blocks reservoir. Nice. You can also do that with this deck with um, paradox engine quite easily. So just FYI, if we had a paradox engine in the side, I didn't plus my Karn or minus my Karn. I should probably use my Karn, is what I'm saying. Let's get another. I guess if I have another Welling Jar, I shouldn't actually put it into play. Because then they could just target all the Welling Jars with the Shattering Spree. Oh, I guess I could... No, you can just regenerate each other. Weird. Ha! Huh. Hope of Gear Poor actually would have been sick if I didn't have the Chalice. I don't know. Let's just get the coating. Lock them out. Lock them out. I guess I only have two Welding Jars in play, so if they go Triple Shattering Spree here, I have to redirect two of them to the spells. Oh my god, it's happening! So they can't kill my Spell Sky with that. But they can deal damage to me. Okay, legit. They didn't... No, they did hit a zombie. They hit Gravecrawler. Alright, little Ratchet Bomb. It's almost your time. The time of cleansing is at hand! Chill out, Ratchet Bomb. It's okay. Yeah, I don't think I want to chalice for anything oh, i'll just read chalice on one mine stones great i think i missed one of my maze mine tomes no i'm gonna <sighs> the lag also my ah no matter how much I wash my hands with soap after cutting garlic, it always gets me in the eye. Huh. I successfully lifted my bridge. Sorry, the what's that new card that's similar? Uh, liquid Metal Torque. Which is weird because it's clearly a Liquid Metal Choker. Yes, it's similar to liquid metal coating. Just resigned to using a glove. Fair enough. I should, probably should. Is this the big shattering spree? Oh, this is Crocs are coming back? That's fine. I will defeat your champion opponent. I fear not a titan. I fear not a titan. I was supposed to play this liquid metal coating this turn and just start blowing up their lands. Man, I'm just all slops in this third league. Uh, apologies to all the people in chat who came here for the best of competitive Magic the Gathering. How am I ever going to win trophies like this, you know? It's the real question. Bone Shards, Liliana, Mayhem, Devil. Yes, this time they missed. No, no zombies milled today. <laughs> I, want my I want my money back. Oh, I just wasted on things like food. Uh, let's go upkeep, stop, hammer time. Wait, I have an Inventor's Fair in play? Okay, so we can just kill him, right? Maze Mind Tome on top is probably not something I want. So let's go Poppy on three. I lose Bridge, I think that's it. 
And that's fine by me because I want to attack this turn. Yeah. Okay, so let's do that. And then upkeep Inventor's Fair for the um, Shadow Spear. Oh, hold on. Don't don't over tap. Okay, M Moto, I'm a, I'm gonna need you to work with me. I don't have a lot of time. Okay. Oh, but I have a chalice. That's not gonna work. Uh, crap. I don't get another bridge, I guess, and then just just do this all over again. They have a shattering spree, which means they can tap my. Construct. Yeah, we just have to get another bridge. Gosh, that's stupid. Okay. Inventor's Fair on top is good, though. Yeah, I've, I have heard of, of attack first. Uh, yeah, I could have done. I sorry. I'm not being optimal about anything anymore because suddenly the way they've decided to actually play this game out has become incredibly tilting. And the fact that our deck actually doesn't have a particularly good way to win the game is possibly going to make me lose here. Um, what I really need is I need to know that my opponent's going to do basically nothing on their next turn. Because I think I have close to enough mana to, um... Alright, hold on. So with two minutes on clock, and the amount of lag I'm dealing with, let's just kick the client. Because there is a walking blista in my sideboard, and enough mana... I have enough mana in play that I could probably kill them in about two turn cycles. So, I'm assuming that this is going to be an efficient usage of my time. I really think it will be, by the way. Okay, so there's their Liliana down to a minute 30. Tap black, black. Okay, I already have a Sorcerer's Spyglass on that. Oh, yeah. Um, do this. I shouldn't do that. That's actually not... That's fine. Alright, so. Draw. Two mana. Play Ratchet Bomb. I mean, the moto lag that I experience is not... We don't have a Walking Ballista? Seriously? All right, fine. You got it. Take your win. Portal. Portal's not going to do it fast enough. 55 seconds, I can't win that game. So we're 0-2 because I couldn't win on clock because I thought I had a walking blist in my sideboard, and I didn't play with enough respect to clock because I assumed they were going to concede by the point they couldn't win the game. Which is on me, and I was letting the lag get out of control, and I just assumed I was going to win. No, I mean, it's not... It's no, it's it's really not a problem. I lost that match because I was sloppy in game three, and I assumed they would concede like they did in game one. Um, I don't think that there was any reasonable chance for them to win that game if I had enough time to execute through it. And I, you know, I'm in, I'm distracted interacting with y'all. So uh, the deck won that matchup no problem, uh, especially if I had played it a little more skillfully through the whole thing. Um, and I'm just not going to be worried about it. Uh, Natty Tron, Inventor's Unfair, two artifacts. It's not a great hand, but I'm going to keep it. Wait, this is not Natty Tron. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Not a Natty Tron. Close enough. Close enough for my eyes to... No, no, we don't have Tron. We don't have Tron. Sometimes you think you have Tron, but your own arts troll you. What? Oh my god, there's a power plant over here. Yay! This is this is the third leak. This is what happens to me. This is the this is the third leak. 
Okay. So, what are we supposed to... I guess we don't needle anymore, but... What were we supposed to needle against Living End? Yeah, I get that Swiss sneeze, and usually I'm kind of okay at playing this. And if I ever actually played more Tron decks, I think I'd be fine at it. Uh, but I don't. Can Living End beat a bridge? Yeah, they, they play bounce spells. They play force negation. So, they definitely can. Street Wraith... Oh, it's the grief build. Okay. Wheel, Maze Mind Tome, it's your time to shine, baby. Yeah, they, they, they're they they're built to beat anything. Just like Cascade Rhinos, there's no easy outs. I guess maybe I could have just drawn a card with this. So I'm going to have infinite mana this turn. Yeah, I should have done that. Yeah, Borrower Main Foundation Breaker Sideboard. That wouldn't wouldn't surprise me at all. Saga? I don't think that's gonna be good enough. Map doesn't do much. I mean I think I'm supposed to needle them, I just don't there's not really anything good to name. Like, you just take a shot in the dark, I guess, at one of their one of their cycle cards. Yeah, there's a Blast Zone. But, like, what do you mean it's going to do something? I, I don't... I can't imagine anything that card's really going to do. Stri yeah, okay, Striped, for sure. It's the biggest creature they have, and they haven't cycled any of it yet. So that's the right percentage play. With no other information, that's a good call. Yeah, but, I mean, right now they have 11 power and 4 drops, right? And, like, in theory, they'll just kill me with the 4 drops. But, like, yeah, anyway. It's it's fine. It's fine. We have Inventor's Fair into Bridge this turn, right? No, we're one mana short. Yeah, we're one mana short. I mean, might as well map. Yeah, it, it doesn't really matter, right? Like, it's... I guess Inventor's Fair is another tutor, which I may need, because I already have the Tron, so... If I need another... I don't have three artifacts. I mean, I do now, but... So this means... We can tutor the bridge for next turn. And, like, we're not dead yet, so maybe? But, I mean, now they're going to be able to hard cast force. So. If we're going to win this game, we have what we need to do it now. Architects of Will, sure. W was I short to what? Oh, no, I, I didn't have the third artifact. That was why I was short. You need three artifacts in play to to art activate the fair. But it, it's because I sacked the map. I didn't need to do that, I think. So I shouldn't have been one short. Uh, they're digging pretty aggressively. I assume they're looking for the force of negation or... No, this is a Susuru's prison deck and we're uh, we're having a good time. Actually, should be one and one if I hadn't punted the last match. So, it's a it's a quality quality construction, but it does require some sideways thinking. Deep. It. 
Tron without Karn? We're playing for Karn. What are you talking about? We're playing four of the best Karn that's ever been printed. Okay, so I want to keep the tome for now. And I want to play the Inventor's Fair out of my hand. Sure. I guess I could have played the Blast on there. And then got cranking. Of course. So I can gain another four and go to three. Four, yeah, we're dead. All right. Four main deck chalice. Didn't find any. Not that it necessarily helps you win, but at least usually punches through one of their um, force negations. Crypt in the sideboard's fine. We don't need this. Spell sky could be okay. Yeah, why not? We're on the play, so I don't feel like I need to mulligan as hard. I don't know. Bobble Elves, Bobble Tron, everything. Well, there's a reason they don't, right? Like, you, you do need some kind of synergy to make that card worthwhile. Okay, this hand sucks. Yeah, hand sucks. Is this hand any good? Not really. Like, he could have turn three Karn. Your fetch lands count as synergy. With Bobble? Not enough. I would say that's not enough. You have a deck, just shove Bobbles in. Memes aside, Bluetron should be playing some amount of Emery. There's a lot more artifact synergy heavy. Uh, no. And the reason why is that that deck plays no creatures for your opponent's removal. So, like, playing Emery is just asking for your opponent's, like, fatal pushes or whatever to be turned on. Not that fatal push is that popular right now, but, like, I think that's a bad idea. I don't. Yeah. And their blue mana is frequently very precious on each turn. Like, they don't have a lot of blue mana to throw around. And there's plenty of... Oh, right. I forgot. We're playing against this version of this deck. So, <laughs> none of our decisions matter. Yay! No, I, I mean, obviously not, but... Game one, we actually had, like, one of the better hands we could have had against this deck, and, and it did not work out. So, I am not, not confident facing down a turn one grief. Classic. Yeah, and the next turn we can play Mindstone, Maze Mind Tome. If we don't draw the land, if we draw the land, we could just play the Karn, hopefully. Into Torment Script. Nope. No, there's decks like the, the Grixis deck we played against uh, just now. It probably eats Living End for breakfast. How did the Foundation break? Oh, the Waker of Waves. They must already have one, or they just don't care. Maybe they just don't care. Yeah, li Living End loses sometimes, too. I've seen Living End decks just, like, not find a Cascade spell, and they're playing 8 to... Usually 8. But they're playing 8. Like, it's not... It's not a small number. Yeah, exactly. A lot of their games go like what we've been... Oh, there's a Foundation Breaker coming back. Yeah, I just forgot that the Cascade in this version of this deck just doesn't... It just doesn't... Like, nothing we did mattered because we just get Griefed and Foundation Breakered again. Like, it's not like playing against Rhinos where, like, the, the Foundation Breaker doesn't do anything much. Like, it's just a naturalize. Evoke elementals make living in pretty embarrassing. Which, which ones? Do you mean solitude? Like solitude with ephemerate? Because that's not that good against their deck. Although, if you're talking... I guess solitude plus ephemerate, and then it comes back off the living end. And then keeps exiling their stuff. So maybe that's better than I think it is. Fury can be pretty good against their deck. Yeah, Fury's, Fury's good. 
yeah i guess endurance but like endur- i mean endurance is just like a good graveyard hate card that they're like not well set up to beat but there's not that many people playing endurance particularly well in modern right now like it just it doesn't fit into a lot of decks very well So punt, lose, losing match two to like the the extremely long game three punt is annoying. Uh, losing that one to Living End was like it was like the first round against Grixis. It just felt like we didn't really have a chance. Like we had a chance, but then they just had their answers where they needed them. We drew zero chalices in both matches, or in that in both games in the total match, I I saw zero chalice of the void which i guess means i should have maybe kept in the um serum vision uh, serum powders yeah it's uh, after one o'clock oh it's basic swamp uh ship it Two Tron lands, Maze Mind Tome. I mean, I think I keep this and bottom the Ratchet Bomb in the dark. Or the Crucible, Crucible for sure. forest sprawl i'm guessing we're gonna see some karth coming they want sprawl on blue or well, maybe not i think i like ratchet bomb here I think I like Ratchet Bomb here. <laughs> Finally, 4 1 with Espers. You can sell chests and buy enough cards to be able to rent each run. Good, good. Feed the habit. Nexus of Fate enters the revealed card zones. Also, they whiff on their land drop. Okay. So. Send my regards to Nexus of Fate. Mindstone into Maze Mind. Too bad no Mindstone could have been a nice surprise. I agree. It's just, you know, we had to go the way we went. let's top let's let's just hit the tron line off the top like a pro we're looking for power plant here i have seen inside i don't have my headphones on right now so i actually can't hear that that bow is on but I, I did watch inside this weekend yeah chalice is the Nexus of Fate deck? Yeah, probably not. I think it's a bit late. I mean, they could have more Sprawls. I think if they had one, they would have played it this turn. So, like, if we're playing around Sprawls on future turns, like, I'm just not doing that. Power Plant on top, huh? Is that what I asked for? That, uh, that seemed to be what I asked for. This is a welcome to the internet. Have a look around, Shadowless. Oops. Do I need this here? Probably not. Yeah. All right. Free cards. It's free real estate, baby. It's a pool in the back. Bridge. Hell yeah. I don't think it's actually that good in this matchup, but it's it's a free card draw, so I'll take it. Uh, 
Another Mystic's Forge. Mystic, Mystic Forge. That'll be fine. Actually, I should probably fetch on my next upkeep for another tower. Shuffle the Mystic Forge. It's not particularly useful. There's the lag. All right. MTG bot was having a having a senior moment. Karn off the top. Well, that's just Jim Dandy. Thanks, Deck. You you always know how to sweet talk me. Liquid metal coating. I hardly knew her. Wait, is that how that goes? Whatever. I mean, when you say that, Jig, I think you assume I'm not playing Jank when I quite clearly am playing some seriously powerful Jank. And I would appreciate not being not being jank shamed here. Jank slandered. Power plant on top, sure. Draw that. Play that. How are you going to activate Arbor Elves with no forests opponent? How how are you going to activate an Arbor Elf with no forests in play? <laughs> it's evolved from the Blue Mage. I have never been, quote, the Blue Mage. I, I, uh, I reject, I reject that nomenclature. Is there, is there anything I need here? I guess Hope of Gearport would be pretty funny. I, I, this game, I don't have a Chalice in play. Oh, I don't have any way to loop this, though, right now. So I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna spell Witch Pain Orb just in case. Yeah, I got, oh, Possess Portal. Possess Portal is hysterical. Let's do the fun thing. Let's put him on zero permanence. All right, opponent, you can't draw cards. Just use it to attack. We're gonna attack them with the Possess Portal. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Don't worry about it. Opponent's reading. Opponent's reading. Opponent's reading. All right. I also realized I had a Blast Zone in play that I could have used on their Arbor Elves, but we'll get there. Don't worry, we'll get there. Each player sacrifices a permanent unless they... That's not what I meant to do, but okay. Unless they discard a card. Opponent discards Nexus of Fate. Fair. Player would draw a card, that player skips that draw instead. Cool. So a little sack welding jar. So eventually we just get to sack our bridge, huh? That's kind of great. So let's draw this. I get. Oh no, let's not draw it because we can't. Let's just put it on the bottom. Gain four. Okay, cool, good draw. Mystic Forge is a draw, so I'll take it. Oh, let's kill their land, so they have less stuff to sacrifice. Uh, play Chalice, because why not, I guess? Wait, no, we want a Blast Zone, right? I have no one drops. I have no one drops. Last zone, chalice on one, I guess. Yeah, we can chalice on one now. Oh, pithing needle. Why not? Just feed that to the chalice. Mm, delicious. <laughs> All right. All right. So, sack a uh, serum powder. Sure. Why not? This possessed portal card is a. Uh, it's a time.
Okay, um, let's exile the tower. Expedition map on top. I'll play that. And we'll sack the second forge. Eventually we'll find a crucible of worlds and then this is just, uh, this is just over. I mean, at this point, it's kind of academic anyway. Uh, scratch at the bottom. Hmm. All right, then. Is there anything worth getting here? So we're just going to sack the bridge on their end step. So we'll sack Chalice this turn. Okay. All right, we learning. We learning how to actually win with this deck when the, when the rubber hits the road. I kind of like it. It's, uh, it's pretty sweet. I don't know if it's any good, but it's kind of awesome. Oh, they sacked their last creature. Okay, so now I freely sack my bridge. Not a care in the world. Now, now they're gonna hit me with land ragavan. I sacked, I sacked the chalice, and I sacked the bridge. And now they're gonna hit me with land ragavan. Any, any votes on land ragavan? Coming in here. All right, possess portal. Ate ya. Bang. <laughs> oh, now you concede. All right, so we're against green, blue, turbo turns with Nexus of Fate of some kind. So I don't really know what I'm supposed to do against that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Spellskite's probably coming in. And again, I probably don't need the serum um, powders. That looked disgustingly fun. It was pretty good. It's pretty good. What if we leave one spell sky inside, bring in the other welding jar? I like that. So we've got Pithing Needle for Arbor Elf. And then Chalice. I'm okay with this hand. It's not great, but like I feel like it's going to get the job done here. Opponent took a mull to six. All right. Sprawl again on... Ugh. Right on time, Jimmy. Right on time. All right. I still think I'm going to Needle Arbor in the... Arbor Elf in the Dark. But might just skip the chalice. Let's go turn two, Mindstone, turn three, Karn. I didn't see a lot of their deck last game though, so it's hard to hard to know. Holy jumping. Well, this Blast Zone might be really good. Is it going to play Mind Stone next turn to Blast Zone him? Oh. Hello, friend. They're down to one card in hand. Yeah, we definitely go Mind Stone into Blast Zone here. Ah, <laughs> opponent's popping off. Yeah, that'd be a lot of mana if I didn't have the uh, the pithing needle. You would have held the blast zone. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I shouldn't have exposed it there. My my sequencing is so freaking bad. Like, I it it takes it takes a lot of practice and Twitch chat beating me around the head for me to actually figure out how to not sequence like an idiot. 
have to play i have to play the same deck a lot that's that's really all it is like with the vela Marcus deck i'm usually pretty good but even then what oh that i mean they're just having so much more fun than we are oh yeah i'm not i'm not even mad how, how can I be mad against that? <laughs> Value agent. Because the heat is out. Do, 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 do. I know, right? Like they're just they're just having all the fun in the world and they just don't care. Oh baby! A double. Oh, you know what it's time for? Defensive Mind Stone, baby. What are you gonna do? Attack with Arbor Elf and Shardless Agent? I don't think so, nerd. Uh, Pongify? Oh. Suspend? Yeah, it's probably like upheaval and or. Have you heard me read that monologue, Ifeno? I've done it. Oh, this is upheaval. But... Oh yeah, Flood of Tears. I bet you anything they're playing Omniscience. Five bucks says, five bucks says they're playing Omniscience. Yeah, I mean, I don't have it memorized. I, I, I did not have it memorized, I looked it up. But I, I freaked out the chat one time by reading a pretty good, pretty good Patrick Bateman, uh, Pretty good Patrick Bateman American Psycho speech. They discarded it to Portal. Did they? I never saw. I wasn't paying enough attention. Again, bad player. Just Chalice on six. Yo. Oh, they're going again? They hit Enter the Infinite and Arbor Elf. I don't actually like the movie that much. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's it's one of those things where it's like... I think I got to it at the wrong part in my life. And like for me, I had already kind of gone through that whole thing with Fight Club. It's a fun, dark comedy. Is it fun? I mean, I like, I like a lot of the scenes and I like Christian Bale in it. I just... Yeah, American Psycho, that's right. I just, I, I find it very difficult to describe that movie as fun. No, I mean, I, I get you. I know what you mean. Like, it's it's definitely a wild romp with a uh, unreliable narrator and a, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like, it's, I, I get it. Like, I, I it's just like, it, it seemed to have like no, what's what's the right way to say it? It was just like, yeah there was just like a lot of like commentary in it yeah we're gonna go portal again but not right away yeah we're gonna liquid metal coating one of their lands this turn so they could have nexus on my upkeep they could get their 7th mana and Nexus on my upkeep. Yeah, I just I just felt like the movie had a, like a lot of kind of pretentious um, commentary with no message. So it felt like it, like on rewatches for me, it was kind of like, 
it just felt like a lot of wasted space because it didn't it wasn't ultimately going anywhere and maybe that's the point of it like maybe it's kind of like um big lebowski where it's like yeah well we were just sick to death of people trying to overanalyze all our crap into all the the you know the micro meanings and the themes and all the nonsense that like you know people would write essays about our movies and it's like we didn't even put that in our movie what 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 are you doing so um all right let's shrink their world and then we draw the saga and get them uh what's it called next turn this is very fun to earth combo Uh, we're gonna get crucible. Where Codex Shredder and Paradox Engine are great. I mean, I agree with you, but like, I just, I don't know. I, I like Susurus is like a legendary prison player, and like, there it is. Um, I'm not saying that means like everything that he he plays like you must play, but I do think that that. He has a very unique, sorry, they, I don't know, that they have a very unique way of approaching uh, the modern metagame, and the fact that they are able to repeatedly find success is, like, really cool. It's like Ice Nine. Ice Nine is just an awesome person in the modern metagame. Is the Ice Nine deck always amazing? I don't even know if it was amazing ever. But it's certainly a feat of the modern format that that deck could even pass uh, as uh, any kind of playable. Like, it's, it's just like, just triumphant brewership, you know? Okay. Like, half the things we've done in this game, were they necessary? No. Um... This is actually, it was nice to have a, a softball, um, softball matchup. Is that what I, is that what I meant to say? Softball? Is softball the right term there? I don't think that it is. Does anyone know what I'm trying to say? Roy, where are you? I know you're here, but I... I already have all the things I need there. Is this Dice Factory with the serums? Uh, the serum powders? Yeah, kind of. I mean, sorry, it is. Yes, it is. It is. It is. That, that, that is the deck we're playing. So, I think next turn we get the Possessed Portal. Wait, no, I can do it now, right? Yeah, we can do it now. Didn't even have to take a turn off destroying their lands. What? Did, what? Uh, I miscounted my... Ah, uh, damn it. Damn you, Tron lands! I counted two towers and one mine. Not one mine... And two to <laughs> I can't even say what I did wrong right. <laughs> can't count. No, I did count to seven. I can't count to eight. Uh, turn three, uh, Ugin? Dude. <laughs> what? This is what my deck's supposed to do. Why would that be in there if I can't play it off my three tron lands? I just... I want to believe that that has happened somewhere, by the way. I... I am firmly of the belief. Is there an artifact way to play multiple lands this turn? I assume there's one, and it's probably really bad. Um, it's definitely not necessary for the deck, but, uh, you know. Exile Seeming Spirit Guide, yeah. There we go. 
The portal returns for you, opponent. We have found the instrument of your doom. Walking Atlas? Oh! No, that's only from your hand, though. That doesn't do what we needed to do in this deck. Ah, I double chalice checked myself. Ah. Alright, opponent, what are you what are you gonna do here? I'm gonna sack one of these chalices. <laughs> Not good enough. Nope. Not what we need. Li literally looking for the phrase uh you may play an extra land each turn that's what we're looking for well it's not from the top of the deck it's from the graveyard too all right opponent was gracious so we got our one match win so far we should have won round two against the goblin bombardment deck but no we're just looking for like dry to the gusta scepter Does it literally not exist for artifacts? It's really surprising. I'll be uh be back in a second. No. Uh, got him. All right, on the play. Let's get that bread. All right, it's pretty good. Pretty pretty good goddamn hand. Is pot of greed modern legal? I'm sure it is. Gear report. Maybe this is the gear report orary deck that we needed. No, it's just it's not just the symm symmetrical effect tunneling cat. It's not just the fact that it's symmetrical that makes that card god awful. The the other clause on that card is super brutal. Oof. Oh, it's Yogmoth. Okay, this could actually be quite an interesting matchup. Um, or not, depending on how this chalice goes. Orrery just screams commander. Yeah, it's definitely like a group hug multiplayer kind of card. Essence Warden on one, though, probably means they have Wall of Roots or... No, don't even attack. Well, that, that just seems incorrect. Um... I don't have a reason to play Crucible this turn, so let's get this bridge in. Right? Yeah. It's like if they start... If I if I manage to unload through my hand and they start playing out um, Strangleroot Geist and etc. No fetch even. What What is happening? <laughs> Everyone gets exploration. PS, free and re ancestral recalls, lol. Yeah. Oh shit, we're getting him to Turok. Here comes the, yeah, Grawl's Messenger. Not surprising. We have a Graft Digger's Cage on the sideboard that is not useful because I have a Chalice in play. Yeah, it would probably be pretty good at that. At that. Oh, oh now you're attacking me. Okay. Uh, why now? So, um, 
am I worried about trying to flood of t yeah 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 that's what I figured it was basic swamp I called it at one point I think someone in chat said you discarded flood of tears in one of the games but I I, I or maybe they meant the omniscience but either way as soon as I saw the flood of tears I'm like oh it's definitely flood of tears omniscience I'm just wondering if I'm supposed to play chalice on two here how bad is that for me though Who's this? Oh, that's the calculator. Um, oops. Pretty sure I'm not supposed to play Chalice on two. I am not. So yeah, we just we just jam Forge here, and if they manage to have a tutor into uh, Naturalize, then yeah, that sucks. Good card on top though. Good card on top. Chalice for zero to blank the attack. Uh, yeah, I could have gained three life there. Uh, what do you mean, obviously, Basura? We're playing a Susurus deck right now, and it has both of those cards. Actual, factual, both, right? If Unless I'm misremembering. Yeah, there's a uh, there's spyglass and needle. Needle in the main, spyglass in the main. No, I mean that's yeah. They're they're both in the main deck. It's okay. I've I've been. All right. So, powder. Call Yagmoth. Okay, they've got cutthroat. But they have no sack outlet now. Uh, Chalice on Zero blocks Welding Jar and Tormod's Crypt. If I need to, though, I could find a Karn and kill my Chalice, so let's just unload it. Okay. Why didn't they go off? Uh, they couldn't. They need another creature with uh, Undying. I do think they probably should have drawn at least one card. Maybe two. Preboard, you don't think they have a way to beat Bridge Spyglass? Good to know. Yeah, they yeah, they had the young wolf in hand, but they couldn't they couldn't resolve it, yeah. So I'm just supposed to exile Shadow Spear here, right? Cause it's just not not useful at any reasonable pace. And I can I can carn wish word if I need to. Draw that. Yep. And inventor's fair doing doing good work keeping us alive. And then it can get me what I need next turn. Whoa! I'm sure I'm gonna see what that alert is for in a second, but uh Oh, Darth Kama with a ten dollo ten dollo. I didn't mean that to be offensive, but uh, it, it probably was. Uh, the $10 donation. Thank you so much, friend. Uh, I haven't fixed that yet, Dark Shrooms, but I am working on it. Learn board is on this computer. I can show it to you. Um, setting it up is a lot of work, but here it is. This is how I work. That's how that thing works. They found another Gralls Messenger. Yikers. You'll spam it till it works. I mean, once per day, please. I don't want you to burn a bunch of channel points on it. Also, I don't know how to redeem your channel points. Uh, I think Roy does, but I do not. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, my computer's good enough now. I bet I can open up the Twitch controller, and I bet I can figure out how to do it. Um, but not immediately now, because I'm playing this match, and time is a concern. Oh, 
Oh, wait. I bet... Reward queue. No, not there. Thanks, buddy. Uh, that's probably why I couldn't find it. Uh, so I guess we'll just draw this. They get to, they can get Grist to sack their message and try to, well, we, we have a needle I can get to next turn. So if Grist is their way out, I can block that. Drawing welding draw is fine here. Okay, so Saga, this is chapter two, that's fine. So burn this guy out. Oh, and now I have a ratchet bomb to pop uh, the Zula port. Uh, although that would hit my spot. Damn it. That would hit my spyglass. I don't want to do that. Uh, there was something I wanted to get my with my Inventor's Fair, and that card was... Well, I have the Crucible already. I've already played a land this turn, so I don't need to do that right now. So let's just Ratchet Bomb. Oh, I don't have Tron. So we're going to get a map. Oh, I'm, I could. I can't draw that. Shoot. Oh, I'm going to draw it and then shuffle next turn. Perfect. Perfect. Everything's perfect. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. I love, I love these super complicated decks. This one has overwhelmed me already multiple times. But, you know, you just get better as you go. The biggest problem I would have with the Grist would be um, uh, that it could kill my Karn right away. But we can get the Possessed Portal. Yeah, I'm not going to forget to make a Construct. Don't worry. Oh, they're done. Okay, got it. Fair enough. D didn't make me literally kill them, which I appreciate. Oh, we want Cage in the main deck because I can get it off Saga. That makes sense. And I, I wonder if Hope is similar. I bet you Hope is similar because what you can do is get it off a of Saga, attack your opponent, um, and then in main phase two, go off. Interesting. Although, you won't be able to attack the turn you get it, so if they actually are playing any removal against you, it's not going to work particularly well. Huh. Weird. I don't know. Um, all right. Uh, sure. Good hand seems good. What does Spyglass do that Needle doesn't? Uh, resolves through Chalice on one. It also lets you see their hand, but... <laughs> oh, that's the worst, Kelder. You made the thing. Oh, well. 
I don't want to. I don't want to criticize your uh, creative process, Kaya. It it may. Even though that's where he says the line, it may work better if you have the the moment where he's tapping the sign. And then the sign could be the chalice. So you could have a chalice on a chalice. I don't know. That's just where my my mind goes on how I would run that 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 joke, um, but. Yours works totally fine. Am I supposed to play this chalice on one anyway? I think that I am. They have one card in hand, so like... This could blank a bunch of stuff, and then next turn we play my, Maze Mine, uh, Tome, uh, Maze Mine... Ah, Mine Stone, Maze Mine, but we have Tron, so we're going to do a lot of stuff next turn, hopefully. I've been thinking about how much it sucks to draw a search effect when all you need is a threat to close up the game. Might as well... And a 9-5 trap that can be played from one of the eight side effects. True. Have a good one, Basic Swamps. Take care. So I have... I have Cage in my main deck. I have a Chalice on one. So if I want to get the Cage in, I need to get it off the Saga. Am I supposed to not play Tron this turn? Is there any world in which it's correct not to play Tron? To get the Saga ticking? And then play Mind Stone plus Maze Mind? The only thing I have to do with my Tron mana at the moment is Karn. This is the last league. This is the last match. Potentially the last game. Been up for 6 hours and 15 minutes. So, feel pretty good about that. Had some great numbers, good raids. Yeah, that's what I figured, Kelder. I'm just, I just want to let it be known that I think it's crazy. Torpor Orb and Crypt both hurt them significantly. Yeah, I think Torpor Orb next turn. But I... Well, that's okay, Accountant. Um, FYI, all Twitch VODs from this point on, hopefully, if I work things out correctly, should be music-free, which means they will no longer have any muting in them. So we could play music on stream and not have it on the VOD. I believe if it worked, which I wasn't able to check during the stream. I can only check afterwards. Zero cards in hand. They have, they had zero cards in hand and they currently have zero cards in hand. We're not dead or anything. That just sucks. Lost the saga, which I was hoping was going to get me the cage. Blast zone. Not right now. It's fine. Like, they don't actually have that much going on, but... You checked the VOD. No music is playing. Oh, is there a live VOD being cre created? Really? That's cool. Cool. Thank you so much, Alvisa Basura. I didn't know. Yeah, spyglassing the Yogg is, is a big deal. So... I'm just going to draw a card here because there's like plenty of stuff I can hit that's like useful. Huge. That's not one of them. All right, fine. Huge. Tremendously large. And then I guess next turn, Karn for Torpor Orb probably locks them out. They can kill... They can kill the Karn. We'll see.
Yeah, let's draw the card first. See if I hit Mystic Forge. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna card for uh, Bridge. I'm gonna card for. Um, if I'm carding for anything, I'm carding for Torpor Orb because Torpor Orb protects my board. Okay, that's that's one of the cards I was looking for. So I have seven mana, which is two, four, and I can sneak in the Mind Stone. Which actually means I have two blockers. No, I don't. Well, I could block with the Sorcerer's Spyglass. I don't want to do that, though. But the Spell Skite should be enough. Crap. They have a cord for three. Shit, they can kill something. What do they kill? Spyglass? But then they don't have another cord. It's probably okay. Their draws have been fire. Last last turn they had no cards in hand, they drew crime punishment. This turn they had no cards in hand, court of calling. Rex Sage. The spyglass. Yeah, okay. So, we go to six, Karn takes three, and we get the Torpor Orb, keep the Karn. I love this song. Thanks, Roy. Yeah, undrop, untap, drop, Yogmoth. Jeez, just, just the greatest flood. Flooding here like it's biblical. Someone building an ark? Yikes. <laughs> big mana deck finds all of its mana then complains that's that's what we're experiencing right now so i can draw one more and then still have nine mana ten actually chalice on three for grist evolution etc yeah i was wondering if there was like a big chalice hit i could hit uh And then I can wish for the Torpor Orb, too. And play it. And the Ratchet Bomb. When I have 10 mana. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah. All right. What does it hit out of my deck? It hits the Bridge, Crucible. I don't... Is that really... I'm sorry, were you memeing? Because I, I, I took you totally seriously. So I guess don't chalice on three. Doesn't orb make the undying creatures just come back? No, it's a replacement effect. Well, no, it's a trigger that triggers in the graveyard and creates a replacement effect. Chalice is a bad card here, period, cuz cord. I mean, I don't think that's fair. It still cuts off, like, a good chunk of their deck. I think I just Chalice on one. I think I just get the Torpor Orb. And, oops, and I think... We just lose our Karn, and that's that's where we're going to be anyway. 
Torpor Orb's gonna cut off the most stuff by far. Chalice helps. No, 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 no. The, what the orb does is stops them from removing more of my artifacts with more Rex Ages. They probably have a, up to three of them. I guess I could just get Maze Mind Tome because it's more draws. Like if we're just like hoping we dodge. It, it's not about the ETV evoke creatures. It's probably more Rex Ages. But like maybe Maze Mind Tome is just better to keep drawing. Because like if I ever hit a... All right, I'm getting the Maze Mind Tome. It's... Kind of higher risk, higher reward. Because, like, if we ever hit um, the forge, it's going to be over real quick. So, and I already have Spell Skite to redirect. Tome, losing Karn this turn, and you got nothing else going on. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, exactly. If I didn't, if I didn't get the Tome, I would basically be drawing one card per turn. Drawing two is way better. I don't know by what mathematical amount, but this is some percentage. One of these is attacking me. Yeah, we'll block that one. Because Karn. Karn's a dead boy. You did good, Karn. Now, return to the earth. And then crank the ratchet bomb. I'm not going to do anything with it yet. They've had one card in hand for a minute. Oh! No, that's a uh, Karn. Do I have a welding jar? I knew I wasn't supposed to play with Karn because I. I think it's probably fine. Oh, uh, right. We lost the spyglass, right? Yeah. But okay. You can just draw 16 cards, probably enough. Yeah. So the saga, in theory, can... Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Just thinning. Good. Crap. Oh. Oh, double crap. Well, <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> you know the best part? It's not over. We're not dead. Yeah, Chalice on 2 looking pretty good for next game. Okay. No, oh, that's not what I wanted to... Uh, whatever. It's fine. Okay. 
banks are flood. <laughs> and we're no longer flooding. Flooding, flooding is no longer the ant the the issue. Okay, I wanted the saga, but like, oh, so many lands. I guess we're not dying anytime soon. Tron land. Well, the, the saga, the saga gets me Graft Digger's cage, which I guess I'm still kind of interested in. Do not exile. I was I was not gonna exile the tower. I just I'm just a little tilted that I can't get my bridge doing what it's supposed to be doing. Perfect. They're not perfect, but good. Perfect. And then next turn we get him under the bridge. With Cage. Cage stops, shuts off the forge. Sure. I definitely forgot that. And I'm pretty sure I don't need to care too much, but you write. You can't cast spells from libraries, huh? Can I draw that right now? I can. Let's do that. Oh, let's not. I don't want to because I have the yeah, chalice. Do I need the construct? No. Yes. God damn it. Probably not. I mean, what if I just needle the Yagmoth, though? I don't have the Torpor Orb right now. But I have a lot of ways to protect it. I just needle, needle the Yagmoth. Are we going to time out? Probably. So at this point, we have to get Karn and then rebuild. Oh, we still have the, um, what's it called in the deck? That's what we're looking for. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking, Kaya. Sorry, I just didn't have, I, <laughs> at this point, I'm having a really hard time, like, taking all of the game actions I have to take per turn in any reasonable way. Plus trying to process how they actually interact with this game state. Plus interacting with a bunch of little questions. So. Okay. Um. Okay. I don't need a second Mystic Forge. Mine is... Uh, not 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 what I need. Inventor's unfair is fine. Gains me some life. Spellskite squad showing up. We'll burn this. Uh, I have enough mana to cast the crucible if i find it wait didn't i want this no not really <laughs> well i guess i can get this out of the way to the graveyard with you uh power plants great all right we we, re we rebuilt tron okay hold on we're just gonna kick the client here because it's it's having a time and i need it to go quickly it's getting in my way 
Luckily, the, the, the reboot time right now is just, like, insane. So, I will take this for how smooth the client runs when it is fresh. Okay, where are we? Upkeep of my opponent. Yeah. Uh oh. Fracturing gust? No way. Okay. Whew. I was actually worried. They tapped the exact right amount of... Oh, fuck off. Yay, collector roof. All right. Okay, we can get there actually at a reasonable pace this way. <laughs> Crisis averted. Crisis! Although, if they find more naturalized effects, this is really bad. Because I can no longer protect my stuff with spell sky. All right, we still have the needle. So that doesn't matter. Okay, card on top is great. Uh, I don't know if I'm actually playing it this turn. I just don't know if I have, like, the mana budget for it. I do. We get Torpor Orb with this, which I can't play this turn. I'm on empty hand, so that's fine. Uh, that's just passed here. Yes, I should have plus my card. Yes, I should have plus my card. I'm not worrying about anything that I don't actually need to worry about. Because if they can, at if they can attack, it's dying. So, and one extra loyalty just does not matter. Like I clicked on it and I was like, eh. Yeah, like it's just I I know how to play the game optimally if you actually sit down and actually walk through decisions. But like right now, we're just trying to survive. So next turn we get Possessed Portal and then watch their world shrink. Game's officially locked up. I mean, I think so. It's funny because it's locked up from both sides, right? Oh, for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't have enough mana this turn. Yeah, okay. My bad. Hold on. I did play a land. I played the Inventor's Unfair from my graveyard.
Definitely should be auto yielding more. I mean, I'm sure I should be. I don't know to what. Like a lot of the time it's like if I see something and I think it's a one-time trigger, I just don't bother and I probably should. Again, if I played this deck more often, it's ah, I'm just making a bunch of excuses. Don't worry about me. You mean just right click yield through this turn? Oh, sure. I I am still in the stage of, mo like, I've only been playing Magic Online for, like, I don't know, 18 months at this point, and I am still at the stage where I have lost multiple, like, I don't know, like, matches to, oh, I hit yield, and then something bad happened to me, because I did that. So I'm like, you. I feel like each player, like, oscillates between, like, um the last time I did this, it was fine versus the last time I did it, it was a complete disaster and I lost everything. I'm going to sack this chalice so I can play the shadow spear. Your world is shrinking, opponent. Are you afraid? Oh, I meant to sack the chalice. I literally said what I meant to do. Okay, we can F6. Uh, but then you have to click through combat. Oh, but no, but eventually, well, I guess you, you're right. You're right. You're right. Playing the Shadow Spirit doesn't matter. <laughs> you don't understand, opponent. I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. But I do need to continue adding to the number of permanents I have, right? Is the opponent actually... Yeah, I don't think we're going to get there. But, like, is the opponent actually intending to clock me here? It feels like it. I I can play Ears of Saga from the yard. Absolutely I can. Do you know how many triggers that's going to cause that I don't want? Once, once we get closer to the end of this game, uh, I will consider it. But until that point, it's just not worth it. Leagues are money, I'd clock you. Well, some people value their time more, but... Like, because I've been in this situation before, and then what if you lose, right? Like, what if you spend all this time, and you then you lose, right? It's like, come on, just scoop out. It's fine. What, whatever attitude is you, you want is, I respect both. I'm just saying... Clocking with no outs is BS. I mean... It's not. It's just not. That's just not a fact. Tried out hard evidence in Velo turns. Zan is testing it at the moment. Yeah, it came up a bunch of times. I, I'm also I'm also the opinion that like the way Magic Online acts is not like what the actual game is, which is kind of annoying. Like, it would be nice if we could you know use. I, get, I don't know, policy knowledge and etc. from Paper Magic to inform the way Magic Online is played, but we can't. Yeah, I, I get it, Karen Lich. It's... I generally play well enough on average, plus uh, because I stream, there's some sort of fallback gains <clears throat> that I... And the problem was, like, if I'm not streaming, the, the computer runs even smoother than it does now, which is crazy to me. Oh, lamps being buggy. Damn it. Okay, we're going to stack two bridges. But there's, there's just no way. 20 seconds is not enough time. If I had about 
about a minute now, I think I could get this. Because I could start... I can sack both my bridges and start attacking for eight. Yeah. Oh, I can't. They have too much power. Shit. Uh, that's just my, 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 the lamp in this room. All right. We, we were almost there. That's a shame. So yeah, uh, honorary three, two for this. We, we punted match two and we lost the fifth one there. Um, this deck is incredibly sweet. I did no reading of this deck list when we, when I started, uh, when I registered this to play, um, so I did not realize, like, we, we lost one match because I literally didn't know that um, we didn't have a walking blister, and that's what I was counting on to actually be able to win. Um, and so I finally kind of figured it out in the last couple of games there, like how we're actually meant to win when, when the game goes well. So that was really cool. Um, I don't know how well this can actually stand up to the better decks in the metagame, because, like, the ones we actually got close to on winning were kind of janky. Like the Black Red um, uh, Zombie Bombardment. I think that's the one we actually won. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that that's just the light. It's just, uh, I, I don't know if I need to change the light bulb or what. Um, sorry, I'm just reading messages and being tired. Replace one spell sky for Walking Blissa seems like a straight up upgrade. I mean, I'm sure it's the way it is because Susurus wants it that way because they are a very, very, like, hardcore, completely insane, I'm going to win by playing 100% prison pieces with one little loop that lets me win the game. So I think that would be... Um... What do I want to say? It'd be like against the spirit under which this deck was built um i'm not saying that you shouldn't do that i'm just saying like it it's not necessary right in theory ballista's a concession to play on mt joe it happens right like that that happens but ballista's not even that good of a concession to playing on mt joe right like i don't know but it is it is a huge difference like having to pump no, 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 but I'm saying, like, it is, yeah, it, I mean, yeah, it's definitely worth it, it's just, like, it is a huge difference, um, having to pump, like, 12 mana into a walking ballista per turn, versus, um, passing through, like, like, you saw at the end there, like, we had to go through 12 turn cycles, um, just to win that game, and passing through turn cycles takes forever, especially if you have triggers like Urza's Saga, so cool deck though very very cool deck uh dice factory is a bad title yeah cool deck anyway uh if i've successfully uploaded this to youtube and you're wa in the future watching this hopefully you enjoyed me futzing around with the Susurus Brown Prison Deck as I just renamed it too. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, check out any of the other videos I have made, and I'll see you over there. Brown Prison sounds, uh, look, listen, I'm exhausted. It's gonna be Brown Prison for now. It's a Brown Prison Deck. If, if I had the right versions of Chalice and this one Mind Stone was fixed, and if they made all of these other things in old frame like they're supposed to, then it would be perfect. They haven't gotten there yet, but I'm sure they will. Well, I'm not sure. But I do know Wizards likes money, so. <laughs> that's that's kind of like why I feel like the deck title is fine. Oh, Mud Prison? Mud Prison's good. No, no, Mud, mud Prison's good. Tron Prison? Alright. Nightmare Steel Cage is probably the best. Oh, I didn't even know that was a Yu-Gi-Oh! reference. It's 
sounded like a sounds like a sweet card though. I I I'm, I mean I'd be happy to play another league of this deck just not right now because I think I started this one after midnight and it went it went shockingly quickly considering right. It's from the episode where Yugi gets Slifer. That's that's after I stopped watching, so I don't know that one. Who's streaming? There's this mana symbol guy. We're gonna, I'm gonna read my my good man freak. All right, y'all, we're rating a stream that's intended for mature audiences only. So if you're under the age of, uh, I don't know, 18, uh, be advised. Wonder when Watsy will go full tilt and make Modern Legacy. It's getting close now. <laughs> My virgin ears! <laughs> All right, see you guys there. <laughs>